The Boeing 777 doesn't just have big engines, it has engines so massive they forced Boeing to redesign the landing gear. The GE90 on the 777-300ER is the largest turbofan engine ever put on a passenger jet, over 11 feet wide, wider than the fuselage of a 737. That's not an engine, it's a wind turbine. But huge fans mean low ground clearance, and when the plane rotates for takeoff, it pitches up, putting the tail closer to the ground. Too low, and you risk a tail strike. So Boeing did something clever. They made the nose gear taller. Not the main gear, the nose. It gave the whole aircraft a slight nose-up stance even while sitting on the ramp. That extra tilt, just enough clearance. It was a trade-off. More tilt means more room for rotation without scraping the tail, but it also changed ground handling and ramp height. All for one reason, to fit the biggest engines aviation has ever seen. So next time you see a 777 sitting nose high at the gate, know this. It's not sagging, it's strategic. Because those GE90 engines are so enormous, the jet had to tilt its whole posture just to take off safely. That's what happens when you build an engine this bold.